coming to you live from the MVG Production Studios on YouTube. It's everyone's favorite game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. This is Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's your host, the star of Tic Tac Toe, the master of the X's and O's, Brandon Scruff. And welcome into another edition of Tic Tac Doe right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join us here once again. On our last show, we crowned ourselves an interim champion, Mr. Peach. He won himself $9,650 in cash so far. Fortunately, he's unable to be with us tonight. But we have our returning reigning grand champion back with us to fight it out in this episode. So let's meet him now, our current champion on the show, with a cash winnings totaling $10,800 in cash. Please welcome me, Mr. Kevin Henry. Kevin, welcome back. Hello, Brandon. Glad to have you back with us, our good friend from Ohio there. Uh, won the championship on his last episode appearance here with us. Had some good run, had a good run in the bonus round, too. Winning the maximum amount of cash you can win without hitting the jackpot itself. Uh, 7200 bucks. You ready to win some more tonight, Kevin? I'm going to give it my best shot. I've got me one fighting opponent standing right next to me here, so it's going to be a dull fight. Bring it on. That you do. And make and your opponent, your first opponent here tonight on the show is making his debut here on Tic Tac Doe uh, from our good friend from Weiner, Georgia, Mr. Andrew St. Clair. Andrew, welcome in. Yeah. Hello, darling. It's good to be here. Fantastic. You've seen Andrew as the, he's the host of Video Game Jeopardy here on the channel. But for the folks who don't know you, Andrew, remind them a little bit about yourself. I'm Andrew Stanger. I'm 42 years old. 42 years old from Winter, Georgia. As mentioned, I am host video game Jeopardy here on MVG. When I'm not when I'm not hosting game shows or doing any type of video games, or in that case, I I like to, I like to volunteer with Meals and Wheels organization. I like to like to get involved like to be involved with Toastmasters. Fantastic! That is a excellent organization to be working for. I always feeding the f folks who don't have food, and I'm like I. I personally appreciate, I've always appreciated those services there. Thanks. So, all right, you ready to try your no test your trivia knowledge here on a little show? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's get into it. Let's play some tic tac toe. Uh, for those of you who've never seen the show before, the way this works is I've got a big tic tac toe board up here. Uh, we're going to put nine categories up on the board. The players are going to pick a category. I'm going to ask them a trivia question based on the category they've chosen. If they get it right, they get to put an X or an O on the board. First person to get a tic tac toe, either across, up and down, or diagonally, wins the game, wins all the cash in the pot, and gets a chance to play our bonus round where they get to take on my pet dragon, Fluffy. Now, the way this works is all the outside boxes on the board are worth $200 a piece. The center box is always a two-part question. You'll get a little time to think about it, and it's worth $300, okay? So with that said, good luck to you both, and let's take a look at the nine subjects you'll be playing with in this first game of Tic-Tac-Doe, and they are the following. We have the Jump In Wear, Rock On, Past, Present, Future, Geek Chic, Anything Goes, Secret Category, Challenge Category, Movies, and finally, Geography. Now, our red categories are our special categories for the game. The Jump and Wear categories, I will be um, giving you a, I'll be giving you some clues to a, a famous place. First player to buzz in and uh, give me the correct answer uh, for that box will take that one. Uh, the secret category, of course, answer that question correctly in the secret category. We double all the cash in the pot. The challenge category is a question that will have uh, four multiple choice answers to it. I will only read you the question, and it will be up to you. Just it will be up to the player who picks the box to decide if they want to play that question or pass it to their opponent. Once they do, I'll read them the four choices. If they get it right, the person who answers it gets it correct. They get the box. If they answer it incorrectly, their opponent gets the box. There. Okay. So that's how those categories work. And with that said, Kevin, you're going to make the first selection. Let's try anything goes in the center square, please. All right, going with anything goes in the center. Again, a two-part question on this one. You'll get some extra time to think about it. Here comes your two-part question under anything goes. All right. On this one, Kevin, in 2009 and 2010, what four countries were estimated to have consumed the most rice per year? What four countries... Uh, were consumed were have to consume the most rice per year. I only need two of them for that center box. 
and here's your extra time to think about. All right, Kevin, again, question. In 2009 and 2010, what four countries were estimated to have consumed the most rice per year? I only need you to name two of them for the center box. I'll go with the two obvious ones, obvious to me anyways, China and India. And that is two of the countries. You are correct. You get the center box. Very nice. The other two countries uh, were Indonesia and Bangladesh. Indonesia and Bangladesh. So those four, but you gave me... The you gave me the two I needed, so very good to you, sir. You have X on the board. We have $300 in the pot, and we're going to shuffle the categories. <laughs> Zoo, Chris. Andrew, over to you for your first selection. I'll take geography in the bottom right, please. Going with geography, bottom right-hand corner. Personally, one of my favorite categories when it comes to, like, just general knowledge of trivia. Here comes your question, sir. All right, Andrew, what was Japan's capital city from 794 until 1868? Again, what was Japan's capital city from 794 until 1868? Is it A, Kobe, B, Osaka, or C, Kyoto? I believe it's C, Kyoto. And that is a correct answer. Very good, sir. Put an O on the board. There we go. We have $500 in the pot now as we shuffle the categories. Oh, Jolly was good. All right, Kevin, over to you. Let's go with the secret category in the lower left. Okay, going with the secret category question. Again, get this question correct. We double the pot to $1,000. Here comes your secret category question. All right, Kevin. What delicacy is derived from sturgeon roe? Again, what delicacy is derived from sturgeon roe? Double the pot to $1,000. Name it. Caviar. Caviar is correct. Double the pot. Nicely done. Thank you. $1,000 in the pot. Now we shuffle the categories again. Andrew, over to you. Geography to block, please. Geography to block in the upper right-hand corner. For a diagonal block, Andrew, your question is... What's the capital of Saudi Arabia? What's the capital of Saudi Arabia? Is it A, Doha? Riyadh. What was that? Riyadh. Riyadh. Riyadh is correct. You didn't even need all the choices. You got it for the block. Well done. Nicely done. $1,200 in the pot. Now we shuffle again. Good job, man. Kevin, back Thank to you. you. I love it. Secret category to block. Secret category to, for the block on this one. Again, get it correct. We double the pot again to 20 Four hundred dollars. Here's your question: What variety of fast food? Well, what variety of food? Because I think it's written wrong here. What variety of food repeatedly evolved in Naples, Italy? What variety of food repeatedly evolved in Naples, Italy? To double the pot and for the block, name it. Oh my gosh! What brand of food, Italy? Um, oh, not brand. Just what type of food? Oh. Uh, pizza? Pizza is correct for the block. Yes. Nicely done. Yeah, we got ourselves a game here today, folks. $2,400 oh. in the pot. Let's shuffle them up again. That could have been anything. <laughs> Ravioli, penne, who the hell knows? Okay. <laughs> it was pizza in this case. And, and Andrew, we're over to you. Geek, geek the block. All right, Geek Sheik for the block. Get this collection for... Question correct for a horizontal block here. Here it is. All right, Andrew, what color is the blood of a horseshoe crab? What color is the blood of a horseshoe crab? For the block, name it. Excuse me. Oh, that's, that, that, that's a good question. Blue. Blue is correct. You got the block. Nice, yeah. All done. Twenty-six hundred dollars already in the pot. Now three boxes remain. Let's shuffle the category and see what happens. That was like missed my part. Kevin, over yeah. to you. Um, let's try movies. Top center. 
All right, movies in the top center box. Here is your question under movies. Which of these directors has twice won the Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival? And which of these directors has twice won the Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival? Is it A, Terrence Malake, B, Uwe Boll, or C, Francis Ford Coppola? Um, I would say Coppola. And that is the correct answer, sir. Well done. $2,800 in the pot now. And two boxes remain as we shuffle the categories again. <laughs> Andrew, Ooh. over to you. <laughs> secret category for the block. All right, get this question correct under the secret category. Not only will you have a block, we'll double the pot to $5,600, and we will have ourselves a tie game. Here comes your question under the secret category, sir. All right, Andrew, a Swami is a religious teacher of what world religion? To double the pot to $5,600, have a block and a tie game, name the religion. Will you, will you please repeat the question? Sure. A Swami is a religious teacher of what world religion? Swami. Um... Hinduism. And we have ourselves a tie game. Well, I was gonna if it, if it was my if it was my question, I was gonna guess uh, Islam. Even close, but you got the correct answer, sir. Well done. We have fifty six hundred dollars in the pot, and we have ourselves a tie game. So what happens during a tie game here is we go ahead and clear the board of all the X's and O's and reset it. And now that the challenger has got forced a tie he now has the advantage of going first so we're going to shuffle the categories again and we continue on the game and andrew you have the selection of the board now where would you like to go i guess we use the same categories until we until someone wins okay uh we don't we just play we play two games with the same categories if we have a second tie we put a new set of nine categories on the board okay okay fair enough um I'm going to do it right there again. I'll start with geography in the bottom right, please. You liked it before. You're going to go back to it again as we go to geography. Here's your question, sir. Japan is an archipelago of how many islands? Again, Japan is an archipelago of how many islands? Is it A, 6,852, B, 2,117, or C, 1,947? Please repeat the question. Yeah, Japan is an archipelago of how many islands? Is it 6,852, 2,117, or 1,947? I'm not 100% sure about this one. I want to say C, 1,947? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Uh, and this is something I wasn't even aware of here, but the correct answer is 6,852 6, islands make up the country of Japan, wow. believe it or not. Uh, you, you only usually uh, hear about the four main ones, but yeah, there's another 6,848 more to go with it, so. The I, dots don't count. I personally think somebody just left ink on somebody's map and they counted each one of them as an island. But that that's me. <laughs> but that's that's the true case there. So no O on the board there, so we're gonna shuffle again. And hey, Kevin, we go back to you. Let's have some fun. Secret category. Go with the secret Ooh. category again. Alright. I have a feeling this is the game where somebody finally tries to break my bank. I, I'm okay <laughs> with this. We will see what happens here. Kevin, get the secret category question correct. We will double the pot to 10000 Sorry, $11,200. Here comes your secret category question. With four, which country has staged the most summer, summer Olympic Games? By by hosting four of them, which country has hosted the most Summer Olympic Games? To double the pot to eleven thousand two hundred dollars, name the country. 
I'm sorry, you broke out. I heard to double the pot. I didn't hear the question. Okay, with full with by hosting four of them, which country has staged the most Summer Olympic Games? Uh, the U.S. It is the U.S. You're correct. We double the pot. First time I think in a while somebody has broken into five figures on this one. But congratulations. We have $11,200 in the pot. Somebody's going to win a lot of money from this one as we shuffle the categories once again. Andrew, we're over to you. Geek Chic in the center. All right, going with Geek Chic in the center. Again, a two-part question here. You'll get some extra time to think about it. Here comes your question under Geek Chic. All right, on, under this one, Andrew, here's your question. I need you to name two of the first four elements of the periodic table of elements. Name me two of the first four elements on the periodic table of elements. Here's your extra time to think about it. All right, Andrew, again for that center box, name me two of the first four elements on the periodic table of elements. Hydrogen. That's one of them. And helium. And that's another one. You're correct. Center box is yours. The other two, of course, lithium and beryllium. The first four in order there, so well done. We have $11,500 in the pot. We shuffle the categories again. Kevin, we're over to you. Uh, let's go with anything goes top left, please. All right, anything goes in the top left-hand corner. Here comes your question under anything goes. All right, Kevin, the oldest bristle cone pine tree is located in the White Mountains of which state? Again, the oldest bristle cone pine tree is located in the White Mountains of which state? For the box, name the state. California. California is correct. Very good. Ooh. Nicely done. $11,700 in the pot now. Let's shuffle the categories again. And answer. Geography to block, please. Going with Old Faithful again. Geography, get this question correct. You'll have a horizontal block of Kevin here. What's the capital of Iran? Tehran. Tehran, Iran is correct. You are correct. Give him the block. Well done. Thank you. Nicely done. $11,900 now. We shuffle. <laughs> Kevin. Past, <clears throat> excuse me, past, present, and future for the block in the lower left. Okay, past, present, and future for the block. Get this question correct. You will have a block. You will have a block of Andrew diagonally here. Here is your question. Okay, Kevin. Lick Observatory is located at the top of what mountain? Lick Observatory is located at the top of what mountain? For the block, name the mountain. It's the Lick Observatory? Yes. Oh, gosh. Michigan. No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Uh, correct answer there is actually uh, Mount Hamilton. Mount Hamilton is where it's located. I didn't hear the question right then. I um, apologize there. And um, unfortunately, I hit the wrong button there. Wiped the pot out. But we have 11900 uh, $11, dollars yeah, in the pot. And we will shuffle. Okay, answer over to you. Interesting. Very interesting. But I'm not going to do it. G 
Geography, please. All right, going with geography, all right? Right side of the board, uh, geography, not going for the win here, trying to maybe set up something for himself. Here comes your question under geography, Andrew. All right, Andrew, what is the smallest state in the world? What is the smallest state in the world? Is it A, Vatican City, B, San Marino, or C, Liechtenstein? Please repeat the question. Yes, what is the smallest state in the world? Is it Vatican City, San Marino, or Liechtenstein? They're all, they're all pretty small. I'm going to guess Vatican City. Yep. And that is the correct answer. Well done. Yeah, that was like a guess. Another O on the board. $12,100 in the pot. Now we shuffle the categories again. I'm Catholic. I don't know that one. Then I shuffle. No. Kevin, over to you. Can you explain the challenge category to me again, please? Yes, I will ask you a question that will have four multiple choice answers to it. You will only get to hear the question, then you will decide if you want to answer it or you pass the question to Andrew to see if he knows it. Whoever answers the question, if they get it right, they get the box. If they're wrong, you're, the opponent gets the box. So if I try to answer and I'm wrong, Andrew wins. That is correct. Okay. Oh, gosh. Um, well, it's got me beat either way. Let's go with uh, geography, lower right. Alright, going with geography in the lower right hand corner. Try to keep, keep yourself alive here on this one. Andrew, for the block here under geography... Kevin. I'm oh, sorry, oh, sorry, Kevin, my bad. Kevin, for the for the block here, the question is, what's the capital of Cuba? What's the capital Havana. of... Havana. Havana, no, no, you're right. <laughs> there you go. $12,300 in the pot. Three boxes remain as we shuffle once again. Now, Andrew, it's your turn. Oh, no. Challenge category for the win. Going with the ca challenge category in the lower left-hand corner again. All right, I will read you the question on this one. Then you will decide if you want to answer it or if you want to pass it to Kevin. Again, you need this box for the win. If you do, it's tic-tac-toe and $12,500 in cash. Here's the question. Janis Joplin was accompanied by the band Big Brother and what? Janis Joplin was accompanied by the band Big Brother and what? Do you want to answer this question or do you challenge Kevin? I'll answer it. Okay. For the win and tic-tac-toe $12,500, Janis Joplin was accompanied by the band Big Brother and what? Is it A, the music company, B, the happy company. The holding company. Yep. What was that? The holding company. The holding company. The holding company is the correct answer. You have tic tac toe. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Well done. Round of applause deserved there. $12,500 in cash. And you will be going on to play bonus round here in just a minute. Well, Kevin, you've had a really good game there. You came up with a uh, tie there at the end, but unfortunately, just Andrew got the better of you on this one. But did you have a good time with us? Yeah, I don't know. All right. Well, congratulations to you, sir. We're going to give you another $2,500 for forcing the tie game. So that means you'll finish up here with your one win in the show, and you leave us with almost as much money as is in the pot, $12,300 for you, sir. Congratulations. And we'll have you back on a future episode, all right? You betcha. All right, Andrew, with your big win, $12,500, are you ready to go see if you can take home another $56,000 in our bonus round? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Come on over here. Let's see if you can beat that dragon. <laughs> yeah, wrong game show there, Andrew. Exactly.
Oh, yeah. Fluffy Andrew, not Lucy. Good. <laughs> yeah, no, Flu no, no. <laughs> yeah, Fluffy might be a little upset about that. But all right, Sorry, well, Fluffy. All right, welcome in though. Here's how here's how the bonus round works, Andrew. Nine numbers up on the board. We have cash amounts behind some. We have a tick. We have attack, and of course, we have now my offended pet dragon, Whoa. Fluffy. You're j you're. I'm only offended if he touches my. <laughs> Dang it, Fluffy! Hush while I'm doing the explanation. All right, your objective, sir, is to get to a thousand dollars or find the tick of the tech before you find Fluffy in the center. If you can do that, you will win the bonus game. You get to a thousand dollars, you will uh, multiply your winnings by the number of uncovered boxes still on the board. However, if you find the tick of the tech on any of your two picks, you on any of your picks, you will win the tick tech jackpot. Excuse me, currently standing at fourteen thousand dollars. However, if you find Tick Attack in your first two picks, we'll double it to $28,000, and you'll have a chance to play the Super Bonus game, all right? So if you're ready, sir, best of luck to you. We're going to shuffle the board. Fluffy's going to go hopefully hide somewhere and stay there. Yeah. And you can get hit. Hide there. You can Nobody get... Nobody tells me where to stay. You can, uh... Sorry, Fluffy. Yeah, you can get some help from the audience picking numbers, or you can go on your own. But anyway, best of luck uh, to you. Three! Go for three! Hey. I'll, 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 I'll start in the middle of number five, please. Dead center number five. What do we got in the center box? Please, no Ooh, we have a tick. Ooh. Ooh. Andrew, you find me a tech, I will give you $28,000. Try one. <laughs> Try seven! Don't I, listen to I, I, Shut I, up, Will. I, I, I I'm, I'm taking it here. Yeah, that fan is... Four, please. Number four. Side by side, back to back. We're looking for the tech for $28,000. Behind four. No, nope, we have three hundred dollars. All right, no double jackpot, okay. sir. But you can still win fourteen thousand dollars if you find that tech, or you seven. need seven hundred dollars to win. You can stop and take your three hundred if you like, though, and walk away. I'll go. I'll go on. Please. All right, give me another number. Uh, number one. Number one. Number one. Top of the charts. Looking for a tech for fourteen thousand dollars. What do we have behind the one? You have two fifty. All right, five hundred fifty dollars, sir. You need four fifty more or the tech. What do you want to do? Seven. I'll, I'll go, and I'm gonna go with number three. Number three, top right hand corner, as Jace would say, Grego's cursed corner. Let's see, behind three. We got a letter! Congratulations, sir. That is another $1,050 for you. Multiply that by the five boxes still remaining on the board. Gives you a grand total net of this for this bonus round of $5,250. Well done. Thank you. Right, and then once we add that to your winnings here, after doing some quick math, carry the one, you have a grand total now of $17,750. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We neatly see. Where do you guys think the tack was hiding? Seven. I think the tack was in two. That's I think the drag was in seven. He says the dragons is seven. Let, let's see. Let's see the rest of the board. Show everything was. I said show the board. Tack was in number eight in the dragon's cave. And the dragon himself was hiding behind number six, sir. All right. Well, there it is. Andrew. Ar Bet you wish you pick my cave now. <laughs> I'll get you next time. Shut up, Fluffy. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, be quiet for your my dinner tonight. All right, congratulations to you, Andrew. Seventeen thousand seven hundred fifty dollars in one game here on Tic Tac Toe, and more importantly, you're now the new grand champion.
So we will pause for the cause and take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to find Andrew another opponent. And we have more Tic Tac Dough on the way, so stay with us, folks. Welcome back to Tic Tac Dill with a new champion crowned here on the show. Andrew's got $17,750 in cash so far. He's ready to take on his next opponent, so let's meet him now. Playing in the circle position this time, we have Justin Noyes. Justin, welcome in. Thank you. All right, tell the good folks a little bit about yourself, sir. Remind them. I'm Halifax and this is a huge sports fan and a gamer. Fantastic. And we look... We'll see how well you could do on this one. Are you ready to play? Yep. All right, let's jump right into it and let us play some tic-tac-toe by looking at the nine subjects we'll be using this time around, and they are the following. We have history, we're booked, science, athletic feats, television, seesaw, pop culture, jump in who, and finally, the secret category. Our red categories this time, our jumping category this time, we're talking about famous people or people that you might know. So, again, on that one, buzz in when you think you know the answer. If you're right, you get the box. Uh, under the seesaw category, it's one of our list subjects. I will give you a list with ten answers to it. You're going to go back and forth one at a time, giving me answers that you think make the list. The first player to make a mistake or not be able to give me an answer that is on the list, your opponent will be able to... Your opponent will be able to uh, Get the box there, but I'll talk more about the scenarios when they come up. And finally, of course, the secret category, which was used to a very good extent in the last game. Get that one correct, and we will, double, again, double all the cash in the pot there. All right, Andrew, as the champion, you have the right to start first this time. So where are we going to begin? Athletic feats in the, in, the, in, the, in the middle left, please. Okay, athletic feats on this one. Here comes your question under athletic feats, sir. What Cincinnati Red right fielder was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1982? Again, what Cincinnati Reds right fielder was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1982? For the box, name it. Please repeat the question. Yes, what Cincinnati Reds right fielder was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1982? For the box, name him. Joe Morgan. No, I'm sorry, incorrect. It was actually Frank Robinson. Frank Robinson is who we're looking for there. Okay. All right, so no harm, no foul there. We'll shuffle the categories again. And Justin, we're over to you. Let's do the jump in who. Going with the jump in who, okay. All right, he wants to try his luck at the jumping category. All right, again, players, uh, I will ask you, I will read you some clues about a famous person. First player to buzz in and tell me who this person is, we'll get the box, okay? And we'll add, two, we'll add $200 to the pot. All right, hands on buzzers, players. Make sure you're both unlocked here for the jump in. We have Andrew and we have Justin. Okay, hands on buzzers, players. Here's your jump. Here's your here's your jumping who questions. I am a female singer. I was born in Staten Island in 1980. My background is Irish and Ecuadorian. At age 12, I was in the new Mickey Mouse Club. In 2000, in 2001. I made the top 20 in FHM Sexies Women Poll. I, <laughs> I sang Reflection in the Disney movie Mulan. I released the album Stripped. What a Girl oh. Wants and Genie in a Bottle are two of my biggest hits. I helped remake Lady Marmalade from Moulin Rouge. Who am I with the initials C A. <laughs> That's Andrew. Christina Aguilera. And that is a correct answer. Well oh. done. Put an X on the board there. There we go. Two hundred dollars in the pot there. Well done. And again, I said, said surprise it took you the, the whole question there because I said you can buzz it at any time you think you know the answer. So, but just in case you didn't, 
You probably may have waited, waited the I right time to get the clue. I, I knew it. I uh, know, but uh, you're uh, not uh, playing now. I, I know. I, 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 I didn't know until you said C A that that hit me. Oh. Mickey Mouse cover should know. Okay, I see. Got you. So, like I said, it worked out though. So well done. You got the X on the board. You got two hundred dollars in the pot, and we shuffle. <laughs> Well, it's not about something, but sometimes it will be nice in this one anyway. Yep, and it's your turn, Andrew. Seesaw. All right, who wants to go with the seesaw? All right. Using the red categories here, under seesaw, again, a one of our list categories, I will have... I will have ten answers listed here. All right, and the category for this one, that is a horrible one to use for this particular case. Hmm. Here we go. All right, this, this one's a little better. All right, under this category, your subject here is clothing materials. Clothing materials. These are ten types of materials that are used to make clothing. So, Andrew, you picked the box, so you get to give me the first answer. Wool. Okay, wool is on the list. That's one. Justin, over to you. Hemp. Hemp is not on the list, so therefore, Andrew, you get the box. Whoa. Did not make the list That's of ten here. I'll go through the entire list here of clothing materials. We have denim, wool, leather, satin, velour, silk, cotton, suede, polyester, and corduroy. With the ten listed there for clothing materials there. Hemp did not make the list, unfortunately, there. So, again... $400 in the pot, and again, uh, you may think it's not fair to the folks in watching in YouTube land, but again, I only go by the list the list of 10 that actually are on the list. Hemp could be made into clothing. I know it's quite popular, but it was not one of the 10 that were on the list there, so that's how we judge those categories there. So, good job for Andrew. He's got $400 in the pot. We shuffle the categories again. And, Justin, we're over to you. Let's do some television all right, television for the block. Get this question correct. You'll have a vertical block of Andrew. Here comes your TV question, sir. Which TV series is co-produced by Judd Apatow? Again, which TV series is produced by Judd Apatow? Is it A, Girls, B, Sprazing Hope, or C, House of Lies? Sprazing Hope. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's actually Girls. Girls is a series produced by Judd Apatow there. So, can't give you the box there. So that means $400 still remains in the pot. We shuffle again. Break for Andrew here. And Andrew. Science for the win, please. All right, get this question correct under science. It'll be Tic-Tac-Doe, $600, and you will be, remain as uh, Tic-Tac-Doe champion. I almost said Jeopardy champion. That would have very, been very, very <laughs> wrong. Wow. Well, okay. well, See, again, okay. folks, this is what happens when you're producing like three or four series at the same time. You almost forget at times which one you're hosting. It happens, especially to me, a lot. Yeah. But here's your question under <laughs> science, Andrew. What scientists found and termed both the elements of oxygen and hydrogen? both in 1778 and 1783, respectively. Again, which scientists found and termed both oxygen and hydrogen? Is it A, Joseph Black, B, Dmitry Mendeleev, or C, Antron Lafisser? Please repeat the question. Again, what scientists found and termed both oxygen and hydrogen? Basically, what scientists named those two elements? Is it A, Joseph Black, B, Dmitry Mendeleev, or C, Antron Lavasser? There's a tough one. I might have been sure about this one. I'm going to say B. Dmitry Mendeleev? Yes. 
Sorry, that's incorrect. It was wow. actually Anton Lafisser. Answer C there. Okay. All right, okay. so so no box for you. Four hundred dollars remains in the pot. Justin has been saved as we shuffle the categories. <laughs> Justin, go ahead. Ah. Seesaw. Going to try his luck again at seesaw. All right. Again, another seesaw list here. Justin, you need this one for the block, but if Andrew, if you get this, again, it is tic-tac-toe and $600, all right? Your list subject this time for seesaw is types of nuts. Types of nuts. And I'm not talking about the human variety either. That doesn't count. <laughs> no. All right, types of nuts. Justin, I got a list of 10 of them here. All you got to do is give me um, ones that fit the category here. Again, type of nuts, and you get the first answer. Peanuts. Peanuts is on the list. That's one. Andrew. Cashews. Cashews is on the list. That's two. Justin. Macadamia nuts. Another good one. It's on the list. That's three. Andrew. Walnuts. Walnuts is on the list. That's four. Justin. Uh, acorn. Acorn is not on the list. Andrew, if you could give me, if you can give me any of the remaining answers on the board, it'll be tic tac toe and six hundred dollars. Almonds. Almonds is on the list. You got it. Tic Tac Toe. Well played. I'll go through the other the other five that you guys didn't get. We have pecans, chestnuts, hazelnuts, pistachios, and Brazil nuts. Those were the ten that made the list there. But congratulations to you, Andrew. That is another six hundred dollars, and you are going to be playing against the dragon again here in just a moment. Well, Justin, unfortunately, things didn't work out for you this time around, but did you have a good time with us here? Yeah. All right, you leave us with some nice parting gifts, and we will have you back on another future episode, all right? All right. Fantastic. All right. Andrew, with that win right there, that brings your total now up to $18,350 in cash, and I bet you'd like another shot at Fluffy to take that win some more money, wouldn't you? Absolutely. After I go to uh, BS, uh, I, I, I know if I was to beat me, but Fluffy, let's do it. All right, well, then, let's just cake. do it. Come, Come on, on over here. Let's see if you beat that dragon. All right, Andrew, congratulations. Number Game number two for you this time. And yeah. I'll just let you know that... This time, if you manage to find Tic Attack on any of your two picks, you win the Tic Tac jackpot, which we added a thousand dollars to it now, up to fifteen thousand dollars for the jackpot. Which means if you find Tic Attack in your first two picks, we'll double it to thirty thousand dollars, and you have a shot to play a super bonus game, which could pay off up to sixty thousand dollars in cash. All right. So best of luck to you. We're gonna shuffle the board around. Fluffy's gonna find a hiding place. And when you are ready, sir, you may start picking. Good luck to you. Yard. Which one is that? Uh, oh. Deuce. Number two. Okay, number two. Okay, Starts with the top of the board. The little deuce, what do we have? Four hundred dollars. All right, good start for you, sir. That's four hundred bucks. You need six hundred more or the ticket tack. What do you want to do? I'll go on, please. Okay, give me another number. Wait, wait, wait. You think, folks? Andrew needs one. some help. Call us some numbers, y'all. Eight, one, five. Um, number one, number one, please. Number one, top of the chart, stick for some more money behind one. We have a tack. Well Find me a tick that's worth fifteen thousand dollars. Five. 
Number five, center box. Looking for some, looking for that tick. Five. Five hundred dollars. All right, so this is going to be your final pick here. So you're either going to win or lose on this one. You need a hundred dollars in cash, or the the tick will get you fifteen thousand dollars. Find the dragon, and unfortunately, sad face. I'm I'm gonna go for it, and I'm gonna say. Number eight. Number eight. Entering the dragon's cave, hoping we don't find the beast within for $15,000. Hopefully, do we have a tick again? No, we got 150. It's a winner. <laughs> Nicely done, Andrew. Again. Another big win for you in the bonus round. $1,050 in the bank. I already know the math for this one. Without even doing it, it's another $5,250 for you. Nicely done. And when we add that to your previous winnings, see, carry, carry that over now. You now have a two-game total. Uh, quick math. Got to enter it in. Total of twenty four thousand six hundred dollars. Congratulations! Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Nicely done, sir. All right, five boxes left, guys. Where do you think the dragon was hiding? Seven. Got seven. Three. Let's see where he was. Oh, let's see where that tick of the dragon was. Dragon was behind number seven, and the tick was behind number nine. First and last on the board this time would have paid you off that $15,000. But unfortunately, can't give the jackpot away this time. So we're going to add another $1,000 to it for our next go-around. Which brings it up to $16,000 for the next time someone plays the bonus round. And oh, folks, we're going to pause. Next time. Would you be quiet? Got it, Fluffy. Oh boy, go in there and rip your head off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and with that said, folks, we're gonna pause for the cause, take a short commercial timeout. When we come back, we're gonna play a little Dragon Finder to see if Fluffy will actually come out and give away some money to one of our lucky audience members here. We'll do that right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to Tic Tac Joe. We got time for one quick round of Dragon Finder. All right, audience members, it's quite simple. Find the dragon, pays you off $5,000 in MVG bucks for your bank account, all right? Best of luck to you, Fluffy. Go hide somewhere. Hopefully somebody will find you and give away the money. All right, we're going to go. We're going to start. I'm going to roll a die here and randomly select who's going to go first. And that is going to be Chris. We're going to start with you today. Nine, see. nine numbers up there. Find the dragon, you get five grand. Where could that dragon be? Huh. I know what that dragon thinking. You're never going to get me. Anyways, um, uh, maybe seven? Seven, let's see, behind seven. No, it's hundred uh, bucks. Not right there. All right, we'll go right down the list from there. Jason. Did he move to the curse? Number three, you want to see behind three? Nope, not no. there. Justin. No. Eight. And he's in his cave. Nope, no. not there. Mark, over to you. We're finding the amounts in increasing order, though. Yeah. Dude. Oh, no, number really? number two. Let's see if he's. I'm hoping for 300 personally, but I'd like to see a dragon to give away some money. Two. 300. No. <laughs> Can't we pull this off in order? I don't want to see. I'm curious. Oh. Uh, we go now to Will. Hey, what did I do? I did nothing. No. Oh, what's up, Brandon? Hey, no. Dragon, dragon finder, finder, sir. Pick a number. One, four, uh, five, five, six, and nine. Oh, I thought we were finding Nell's secret wife in that cave somewhere. Anyway, number five. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 
Down the center of the box, number five. Dead center is in five. No, not there. Five under wow. there. We'll continue on back to the top of the list. Nails, four boxes uh, left. Where's that dragon? One. Number one is the top of the charts. Nope, there's the tick. No. Uh, Hunter, over to you. E C. I think he did. Yeah. Which number? Six. He said six. All right. Number six is the Pretty dragon behind six. Oh. Yes, he is. We have a dragon. Yeah. There we go. I thought we were going to get down to the last two and be like, all right, Brandon, 50-50 shot. But all right, congratulations to you, Hunter. You found that dragon. That's going to get you 5000 bucks. We'll add it to your bank account here very shortly. Let's reveal the rest of the board to show you where everything else was. Oh, look at that. One and nine again for Tick and Tech. That would be nice for a bonus round there. But all right, Hunter's got five grand, and Andrew's our new champ, grand champion on the show. $24,600. We'll see him next time as he played again another opponent. Maybe we'll have Peach back as our interim champion. He'll be back to join us, maybe. We'll have ourselves a champion battle. We'll see there. But that's all for us tonight here on Tic Tac Del, folks. We thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like the series and want to see more of it, all you got to do is click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Production. Until we go... Until we go looking for that dragon once again and we try to give away some more money, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time on another episode of Tic Tac Doe. Take care. Bye for now. Folks. Some of our party success is going to see the animals are the only ones the video. They get creepy to see the spoon. Uh-oh, with the videos and not the only ones. I'm Vaseline, there's a new lip in the chapstick, most of that chapstick, and frequently you should move, never go to chapstick again from Vaseline. The Mr. Coffee Ultrasonic System, Space Age Technology, the best cup of coffee on this planet or any other friend by Mr. Coffee. Alright, Chapter, now it's more great taste than Mr. Coffee. More flavors that want to say, I want to pop. Alright, Chapter. A salad ball supplies 17 salad dressings. Both the salad dressings is the whole family in love. Who makes the salad dressing? You and 17. A drying cream that gets 10 more than you want. A bleed substitute that gets white things white and gets out stains and even tears up the cell. You need automatic shut off iron. Take the worry out of iron and the piece lets you know if you left it on and it shuts off automatically. GE, the Imagination Network. And one lucky number of our studio officers will receive the Enterprise Battery Operator Wall Clock and a walnut finished gift. A timely gift from West Clock, a Cali Industries Company. Yeah. A Barian in Mike Production.